I am planting corn in my back to Eden garden. What you see here is just wood chips. These are old in that they've been here probably, oh, some of them been here two or three years. Some of them been here two years. Actually, I started this probably maybe four years ago with some hay. Uh, and let me show you, I'm, I'm planting corn. This is a G90 corn, uh, matures in 90 days. And let me show you how I'm doing it. In the back to Eden garden, you have to get down to the soil, or in my case, in this case, these chips are so deep, uh, at one time they were probably almost two feet deep, and they've mulched down and made a good layer of compost underneath. So what I'm doing is get, getting down to the compost. Uh, if your wood chips are uh, three or four inches deep, five, six inches deep, you're gonna have to get down to the soil and plant your seed in the soil. All your plants, if you're planting transplants, uh, you'll have to get down to the soil. Uh, so what, uh, let me just move what I did is set up a string line because I've just got to have stuff in a straight line. And you can see all the little holes, uh, little places where I planted. I'll move my string line over now, about a foot. I'm just gonna plant a block. Um, in other words, uh, maybe four or five rows uh, just right next to each other. A, a, a foot apart this way and a foot apart between the rows. And it'll just be kind of a block of corn. They will uh, pollinate a lot better that way. So what I'm doing is using a sharpshooter. Uh, you can use a shovel if you don't have a sharpshooter, it's okay. I'm going down, because these chips are so deep, I'm going down about six inches with them. You can probably see there on the sharpshooter where I have, <clears throat> that's about six inches. I'm going down about six inches, pushing it back and you'll see underneath is some pretty good compost. So I push it back to expose the compost. In your case, you may be exposing the soil. And I'm using, at that point you just drop the seeds in, but what I'm doing to keep from having to stoop over is using a piece of PVC pipe and I'll drop my seeds in the pipe. Just drop one down in there it goes down you might can see it there and then i move i'm gonna move my sharpshooter out but i'm not um i'm not wanting to cover up the seed completely with six inches of chip so i'm just gonna move it out and watch that watch and see that maybe an inch or so of the chips are covered up let me do that again kind of hard to do this with one hand Sharpshooter in, pull it back to expose, pull it back to expose, put my pipe down in there because I want my I want the pipe getting down to the as deep as I can get it down in there. And then I'll put a seed down in it, drop it down in, pull the pipe out, pull the shovel out easily so some of the chips come back on top uh, not all of them I'm not planting these this corn six inches deep and I'm going down about six inches of the chips but I'm leaving guess why you see these little holes those little indentations uh, that I did that's where the uh, that's where the seeds are and I didn't completely cover them up again if you're if you're uh, back to Eden garden it's not this deep you won't have to worry about that you can cover them up with probably two or three inches of chips, three or four inches of chips. Corn would be fine, I, I would imagine. So down. Every now and then I'll hit a log or a limb or something that was mixed in there. All right. Now you can just drop the seed in there and then pull the shovel out. And I just, like I say, I just watch a few of the chips come over the top of it. Down, pull it back. I'm gonna use the tube again. Places it right where I want it. Get down in there deep. Put one in it. 
pull the tube out that leaves the seed and then pull the shovel out easy enough to where just a few inches a couple of inches of chips fall down on top of it all right let me show you again Seed in, pull it out, easy in the shovel. So I've got enough seed to do, I don't know, three or four more rows. I started put, putting two seeds in a hole, just in case. One of them comes up, uh, one of them doesn't germinate, then I've got a, a, a hole. Uh, I mean, I've got a plant. If two of them come up, then I will uh, pull one of them. And uh, then I started putting one seed. I think I'm gonna go back. I was, I was thinking I didn't have enough. And what I'm doing is wearing a pouch here, a little old, uh, nail pouch. And I've got the seeds in the nail pouch. Makes it real handy to have the seeds right there with you. So this is a good way to plant corn uh, in a back to Eden garden. You can plant, gosh, any, any kind of seed like this. Um, you know, if you're gonna do grow crops like peas, beans, something like that, then you're gonna have to uh, rake a fur or cut a fur and I'll show you how to do that in another video when I plant my peas and um, but anyway this is corn you can do squash like this zucchini okra uh, most anything like this and just uh, get down to the soil I'm not I'm not getting in the soil simply because these chips are so deep I've just got a lot of compost under it uh, that have been comp these these chips have been composting so long so uh, but they'll, uh, they should come up. I did watermelons a couple of years ago like this and did great. So we'll see. I'll show you when they pop up. And we're gone.